Space Captain McCallery Episode 1 Crash Landing is the latest title by Renegade Sector Games, and look, there's no way to put this positively, so let's get right to it. This camera is awful. It is genuinely terrible to work with. It's inverted by default for no real reason, and you have to dig through the menus to the key rebinding section to swap it back to normal. And even then, that only solves one problem with it. For instance, aiming your gun is limited to a lock-on mode that rips control of the camera away from you completely. Swapping between targets is also a pain, especially if you play with a keyboard and mouse. And then there's the camera regularly ghosting through the environment, or smashing into McCallery's back, or just refusing to lock onto an enemy because some arbitrary limitation that's stopping you from doing that. In essence, Space Captain McCullery, boy that is a mouthful to say, plays less like an undiscovered N64 game and more like one of those awkward PSP action games that tried so hard to seem like their dual analog counterparts. Which warrants the question, seeing as this is a PC game, why these controls are so backwards? To be clear, with previous games, I at least understood why Renegade Sector featured unique control setups. Kill the Super Weapon was a 3D Mega Man, crossed with Metal Gear Solid, so of course it plays like a 3D twin stick shooter. Cold Vengeance was a hybrid of an on-rails arcade game and a cover shooter, so go figure it doesn't let you pull a full 360. In those cases, it made sense. Space Captain McCallery doesn't have an excuse. It's like a weird, trimmed-down spiritual successor to Death Jr., but with hints of gameplay and Metroidvania that never really coalesce. Some unconventional yet interesting features like hallucinations, Dark Souls bonfire-like checkpoints, and your stamina bar being your primary means of recharging your weapon are lost in a sea of disinteresting levels that just meander when it seems like they were intended to feel exploratory. None of this is helped by the game's slippery dash move that's intended to replace traditional jumping. There's definitely some promise here, but the core gameplay just really doesn't come together enough to warrant seeing this adventure through. It'd be so easy for Space Captain McCullery to play like a traditional third-person action platformer with manual aiming and a closer, more polished camera. Then, the cooler elements could shine through. Instead, they're buried beneath the weight of a game trying to reinvent a wheel nobody wanted reinvented. What could be a low-poly Alice Madness Returns or Metroid Prime instead left me with an actual headache from trying to work with the horrendous camera and infuriating controls. Which is a rarity. It was surreal when that happened. To be fair, there's an episode 2 coming, and I sincerely hope player feedback is taken to heart, as I've seen I'm not the only one who had a rough time with this one. Normally, there's at least a cool silver lining to Renegade Sector's games, but even at its best, Space Captain McCallery feels incredibly unpolished. It's probably the most rushed game I've reviewed this year, and I'm hoping that the next episode patches things up. It's not that you can't challenge the norms of gaming, but sometimes things become standardized for a reason. I applaud the experimentation, but it doesn't work out this time. A 4 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of them, please be sure to like and subscribe because that actually helps a lot, and if you didn't like it then please feel free to give a thumbs down, but also let's try and keep things simple in the comments section, yeah? Oh, and if you really like this video and would like to help ensure I can do more of these things, then please head down to the description and follow a link to my Patreon where you get special goodies if you chip in and help make this channel a reality. I'm the Underbridge Gamer, signing off.